you'll learn how to use freely available data from FINRA to find the weighted average cost of debt for a publicly traded company. First you go to Google and type in FINRA, F-I-N-R-A. Once you are on the FINRA website, you want to go to the For Investors section. Next, scroll down uh, to Market Data on the right-hand side. Then you need to scroll down to the Bond section of the page, and under Symbol, type in the ticker symbol of the company you're studying. I'm going to type in EMN, which stands for Eastman Chemical, which is a stock suggested by the book Ross Westerfeld and Jordan that students track. You want to make sure you hit the toggle button corporate before typing in the ticker symbol. Once you brought up all the corporate bond issues for company you want to look at, there are really three items that you need. You need the yield, you need the price as a percent of par, and then you need to click on each one of those links to find the par outstanding. It's a good idea to label your bond issues in the spreadsheet very carefully like they are labeled here because sometimes the order will be reset every time you re-click the page. Once you have the par outstanding in, then you multiply the price as a percent of par to find the market value of each bond issue. You add up all the bond issues in the column. You use that as the market value of the debt to find the weights of each different bond issue, which is the market value of each bond issue divided by the market value of all the debt outstanding. And finally, you multiply that weight by the yield which you've collected, and that will give you the weighted yield for each bond issue, add up through the column, and that'll give you the pre-tax cost of debt. One final issue is that FINRA oftentimes will omit the yield for some bond issues. Hopefully those bond issues are no longer active, but if they are active, then you'd have to calculate the yield on your own. One possible way to do that is use the rate function in Excel. Since that goes beyond the Ross, Westerfeld, and Jordan treatment, I don't normally make my class do that, but that is something that's definitely possible and definitely something you're going to do if you, you're doing a valuation for investment purposes. Of course, this is not investment advice. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below and subscribe. On this channel, I post some uh, videos of my family and some videos related to academic finance and some videos related to YouTube creator advice. Check out the Finance Professor podcast and sign up for the Finance Professor podcast newsletter at linuswilson.com or financeprofessor.org.